Hi, my name is Rob and I help manage digital content for the Endangered Archives program at the British Library. To help us avoid some of the common challenges encountered when working with digital data, the main issues that we need to consider are organisation and documentation. When it comes to the digital preservation of your collections, make sure that the collection is complete and organised in a structured and logical manner. Digitization projects can generate files of many different types, including images, sound, video, text, and 3D objects. For each collection, it would be useful to identify which particular files need to be the primary focus of preservation. For example, in this series of images from a multi-page book, the entire book, including front and back cover, has been digitized. The files have been saved in a consistent file format and in page sequence, which is indicated by the file name and number. The use of naming conventions aids consistency and may need to take into account things like the format of dates and numbers, the use of punctuation and abbreviations, and the correct sequence of multi-page items. File formats. As part of the process of organisation, the opportunity should also be taken to review the file formats that make up the collection. Some file formats are more prone to obsolescence than others, so it may be useful in some cases to think about the file formats being used. This is most common with closed file formats created by commercial software companies. As newer generations of software are released, they are not always compatible with previous file format versions. EAP recommends using a tool such as Droid to identify and validate file formats. Please watch our tutorial on digital preservation tools to learn more about how to use this as part of your workflow. Another important thing to think about will be where to store the collection for the longer term. For large organisations like the British Library, this may involve saving content and metadata into a preservation repository that stores this data in different locations so as to always have multiple copies. For smaller organisations, the main storage options may be external hard drives, network drives or the cloud. Standalone computers, like a desktop PC, might be suitable in some cases, but the storage of master files on removable media, laptops or smartphones is not to be recommended. Backup As soon as you have created a digitised version of your collections, back the files up in more than one place straight away. This will help protect your collections from problems such as accidental deletion, corruption or viruses. Keep each of your digital copies in physically different locations so that both are not lost in the case of disasters such as fire, flood or theft. Regardless of the specific storage approach chosen, there will also be a need to regularly check that the files have not been changed or become corrupt during the backup process. Checking that your content remains the same is called fixity. There are tools available that produce a checksum which will alert you if something has changed in your files. Please watch our Digital Preservation Tools tutorial for more information on this process. It is never too early to start considering what to do about digital preservation. A well-planned digitization project that has adopted appropriate digitization guidelines should be well-placed to produce outputs in forms suitable for long-term preservation. This tutorial is part of our online video series covering digitization, digital preservation and conservation for the Endangered Archives program. Feel free to explore these resources at eap.bl.uk slash training videos.